Hi, Barnaby here for Spurred On outside the lane. We've just drawn two all with Stoke, having been 2-0 up. I've got our regular Chris with me. Chris, I've asked you not to hold back. I don't know if you can anyway. I feel totally like I want to kill myself at this point. Uh, I won't go through with it, though. How do you feel? What on earth went wrong? It's funny. If you'd have asked me about a half hour ago, I was completely positive. Um, we were completely in control of the game. Um, you know, even Poch thought that you know, we were going to win, um, took Harry Kane off. Um, complete control of the game, and then we just threw it away. Um, I just don't understand it um, at all. Um, you know, it should have been three points. And we've, we've been in this position so many times last season. And, uh, you know, after the Manchester United game, I thought we were very unlucky there. Um, you know, it should have been an easy three points in the end. You know, Stoke are a very hard working side. We broke them down, you know, scored two goals. At one time, we, we perhaps should have even been four up. Um, I don't know where it all went wrong, but um, it's just not good enough. It's devastating, isn't it? And I have to say, I, I was sitting next to my friend Martin and I said when he took Kane off and brought Lamella on, I said if, he, if we don't win from here, then Pochettino's going to get his first proper bit of stick. And you've got to say, it's one thing Kane coming off with a knock, but to bring Lamella on, who is in essence a show pony, yep. it's like, uh, it just sends the wrong message out, doesn't it? A lot it? of fans now, towards the end of last season and you know, even today, a lot of fans are starting to get on Lamella's back. And if he don't start delivering very soon, um, then you know, he's going to have people booing him like you know, they did to Adi Bayor last year. Yeah. Um, you know, he needs to perform, you, you know, with that sort of price tag, you know, come into a club um, like this and, and, you know, that amount of money, you need to perform, um, you know, consistently. And he's not done that. He's, he's, not, he's not shown anything really, you know, any good things at this club yet. And, you know, how long, how long do you give someone? You know, Soldado, um, you know, took two years, you know, are we going to give Lamella a lot more time? I hope not. I don't think he fits in with the, the work ethic. That's the other thing is, it's, you know, if he's scoring goals every week or assisting goals every week, it's one thing to let a player not have that work ethic. But if he's not going to put it in, he came in when he came on today, I saw Carl Walker having a go at him because he wasn't yeah, working back. And all that, those goals came from that side because they let Steven Ireland get on the ball and get, them in, get the ball into those channels into Arnautovic. When you've got a player like Walker, um, you know, playing on that side and he's having a go at him, it wasn't only once, it was, you know, two or three times he was telling him. You, when you've got your right back having a go at your winger, um, and all the fans are seeing that, it's not good. It's not a good sign. But, um, you know, we should have, I'm, I'm really disappointed. You know, it should have been a three points. We should have been climbing up the league. Should have been going into a Leicester game, you know, really, you know, looking forward to it. You know, getting our second win. And, uh, you know, we're still looking for our first. He's right. There were so many positives first half. It's depressing that we can't even think to talk about them because it's so devastating second half. And when you want people like Larice staying, you know, on those performances, why are people like Larice here? It's... It's madness. It's crazy. It's absolutely true. Thanks, Chris. Guys, let us know what you think about Chris's comments in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at SpurredOnTV. Thanks a lot.